Welcome to another 5 Minute Design. Today we're going to be doing a magazine ad, and that ad is going to be focused on a laundry product, namely dryer sheets. It's not the most exciting product in the world, so we want to come up with an ad that really grabs people's attention. So to come up with a concept for this, maybe we can broaden our approach a little bit, and instead of looking directly at dryer sheets, we can look at the dryer as a whole. Now when it comes to dryers, the first thing that pops up into my mind is how you always lose your socks. It's inevitable. So maybe we could play off of that idea and put in some type of like sock monster. Like this is the thing that's always responsible for your missing socks. Now in order for us to tie that concept into our dryer sheet product, we could probably do that with some clever copy. So maybe we could talk about how these sock monsters really like the scent of the dryer sheets. So let's go ahead and find some assets to use. So here's an image of a dryer I found. Now the idea of this ad is to focus on that sock monster. In order for us to do that, I think we need to make that monster fairly large on the page. Now I imagine this monster kind of having tentacles or something like that that come out of the dryer that we can see maybe holding some socks or maybe even holding a box of the dryer sheets. So I think what would be cool is to turn this entire page into the dryer, get rid of all of this extra stuff that we don't need, and really just focus on this door area. I'm gonna start by making the entire background the same color as this dryer. Now we can mask out the part of the dryer that we don't want and try to fade that into the background. All right, so that's done. Notice I tried not to remove too much of the shadows because I'd like to be able to keep those so I don't have to recreate them from scratch. And now let's go ahead and find some tentacles for our monster. Here's the tentacly fellow we're gonna be using for this. Now we can go ahead and start placing some of these tentacles around to make them look like they're coming out of the dryer. I'm thinking we'll have one of these arms holding a sock like I mentioned earlier, and then we can have a tentacle towards the bottom hold the actual dryer sheet box. Okay, so I've got that one in. It's meant to look like it's coming out of this pile of clothes here and opening the door. I think that helps give the monster some life. Now I'm gonna add in that other arm I was talking about earlier that was going to hold the sock. I'd like to go ahead and add in that sock to see what that's gonna look like. And these are the socks we're gonna use. I picked these because they have fairly similar flat lighting as our other clothes here. We didn't really want a super bright or decorative sock because that just doesn't match the rest of our scene. We need to make it look like that tentacle is holding the sock. I'm gonna use the liquify filter to make it look like it's scrunched on the top. So that took a little bit of fiddling around, but I think we've got something that looks like the tentacle is actually grabbing the sock. At this point, I'd like to get the bottom tentacles and the mock-up of the dryer sheets in. This is a free mock-up I found online, and it's what we're gonna be using for our dryer sheet box. So I'm gonna cut this out and put that into our scene. And you can see why I chose this box. You can clearly see the front of it, and it's not overly skewed, so the brand will show up really well. Now let's see if we can get a tentacle to look like it's wrapping around this box. So as I'm cutting this out, I'm trying not to show the middle part of this because we never want to see the core of the monster, only its extremities. That looks convincing enough to me. I'm gonna add just one or two more tentacles in this area here to get this whole image balanced a little bit better. I added this small tentacle here because it gave it a little more of a convincing look like it was actually holding onto the box. Obviously a lot of this looks a little bit fake, mainly because we don't have accurate lighting in the scene. Our light is coming from above, so we're gonna get some shadows on the undersides of these tentacles, as well as heavy darkness inside the actual machine. You can already see how much better that looks than what we had before. Now we just have to do it to the other tentacles. And notice where the clothing touches the tentacles, we're gonna have some really dark shadows around there. Now let's go ahead and add some shadows on some of these other objects, like our sock and door and the box down here as well. These tentacles and sock and box and all of this are gonna cast shadows on this washing machine. So we're gonna go ahead and add those in. And of course, the further down we go, the shadows are gonna get more transparent. Maybe something that would be cool to try would be to put a reflection of this tentacle on this glass here. And we can see the before and the after. I think that definitely helps ground that tentacle into the scene a little bit more. I think it is finally time to add in our text. And remember, this is about dryer sheets. So the copy I'm gonna go with is the only fresh scent approved by all sock monsters. We're gonna make that text black. And I'd like to find a font that's a little bit more elegant, just so we have some contrast between it and this kind of gnarly scene we have going on down here. 
I ended up bolding sock monsters just to give it a little bit more emphasis. And small text with a lot of breathing room around it is a good way to make something stand out. So that's why I did that. Now I'm going to tackle this packaging down here. I'm just going to whip something up real quick since that's not the main focus of the scene. But it would be nice to have something there. This is not necessarily designed to my personal taste, but I think it is pretty close to the type of packaging you'll find out in the real world. And you know, even though we have this big monster, the product still heavily draws our attention, and that's what we want. The logo of the company is kind of covered up by this tentacle. And normally that's something we would watch out for, but since this is a fake company anyway, it doesn't really matter. The last thing I am gonna add though, is some type of call to action. You want to tell people to do something. And in this case, it's gonna be learn more about the product. And I made it fairly small, mainly because there's just not a whole lot of text on this page. So so people are automatically going to be drawn to what little text there is. Plus, it's right by the product, and when you look at the product, you're going to see this text down here and likely read it. The last thing I added there was just some lighting towards the bottom. I think that'll just make this scene feel a bit more dynamic. And all we have left is just some color correction and a little bit of tweaking here or there. You can see mainly I just made things a little bit warmer. I think it matches the red in the tentacles a lot better. So now we can just put this on a mock-up and we are done. And here's the final result. I'm honestly really happy with the way this turned out. I think it's a really cool scene and I definitely think it'll catch people's attention when they see it. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. All the assets I used in this video are linked in the description if you want to check those out. And leave a comment and let me know what you liked about this and maybe what you would have done differently. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be making a lot of these. So if you enjoyed this one, there's much more to come. I'll see you next time and happy designing.